Hi, today we're going to look at how to embed a Blabberize project into your Google site. You'll want to go ahead and make sure that you've logged into Google Apps and that you've navigated to your site. So you'll want to make sure you go into Google Sites and that you select the website that you've started creating. You can see that I'm already on my Google site. I also am going to go ahead and start another tab and on the next tab over I'm going to actually have Blabberize up. So you'll want to create two tabs, one with your Google site and one with Blabberize. So basically you'll want to navigate to Blabberize.com, log in, and go to My Stuff on the Blabberize page. Once you've got the two tabs ready to go, you're ready to go ahead and grab your embed code or your HTML code for your Blabberize project. So I'm going to stay on the Blabberize tab right now and I'm going to scroll down to my project and I'm going to click on it. Next, I'm going to go to the button that says Share It. When I'm copying and pasting an embed code into a site, I always want to make sure that I've copied the entire embed code or HTML code. You can see that in Blabberize, that embed code is kind of big. It's got a scroll bar. My trick is to go down to the very bottom of the, of the embed code and highlight from the bottom up. That way, I'm going to be certain that I get the entire code that I need. Otherwise, my project won't appear the way that I want it to. There's two ways to copy. I can either right click and select copy, or I can hit Control C to copy my code. I went ahead and clicked, um, I went ahead and selected Control C. Once your embed code is on your clipboard, you're ready to go back over to your Google Site tab. Now, I've already created a page for my Blabberize project, but if you haven't, it's really easy to go ahead and just create a new page um, so that you can add in your Blabberize project. I'm going to go ahead and click on my Blabberize page, and I'm going to go in to Edit Page. Now that I'm in the edit mode, I'm going to be ready to create a code wrapper gadget that's going to hold my embed code in it. Code wrapper gadget is a really easy way to get your HTML code or your embed code into your site and it also makes your project look pretty so that's always a good plus too. So now that I'm in my edit mode, I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom where it says more gadgets. Then I'm going to search for code wrapper. That's the name of the gadget I need. It gave me a few options. I'm going to go ahead and select this gadget, code wrapper. And I'm going to hit select. As you can see on my next piece of my pop-up box, I've got a big box that lets me put my embed code in. I can click in that box and I can either right click and select paste or I can hit control V to put my embed code in. So that's the same embed code I just had over at Blabberize. Now the next thing to look at is the display. And I'll be honest with you, a lot of times I have to play with this area to get it to look the way that I want. For this project, I'm going to go ahead and put 500 pixels by 400 pixels. And I'm going to select OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on my Google Gadget. And I'm going to go ahead and center the gadget by clicking on the C. If later I need to mess with those uh, properties or if I didn't like the way that it looked, I can always click once on the Google gadget and go to properties to change uh, the pixels and that will help it look different for me. I'm going to go ahead and save. As you can see, I've just added my Blabberize to my Google site.